is electric. Okay, today I'm going to upgrade to the latest version of the hub from my energy in case there's a problem with my current one. So connect the power supply, follow the instructions and the instructions say connect it to your internet router with the ethernet cable supplied, plug the power supply into the back of the hub and then follow instructions at myenergy.com new hub. So it shouldn't be difficult, should it? Let's have a go. So here's my old hub, and uh, there's the new one. There's my internet router, all on top of a bookcase. Right at the top of the room by the ceiling. So um, yeah, hopefully the positioning's easy. I can use the same power supply or just rewire the power supply, which is down the side of the unit. Just plug the cable in and uh, away we go. And then we'll see how easy the instructions are. Okay, there we go. That's the RJ45 network cable plugged in. So just power next. Yep, there it is. So that's powered on. The old power supply was compatible. So uh, I haven't had to put the new one on. So next, follow the instructions and see what happens. Well, not a good start. Um, you put in the address that they've told me, which is myng.com slash new hub and that web page doesn't go anywhere it just redirects you to the latest product range so there isn't actually any instructions so that's not a good start but a quick google search installing my energy hub comes up with the goods so this shouldn't be too difficult at all in fact it's redirected me to a decent my energy page in Australia. <laughs> anyway, it should all be the same, shouldn't it? So uh, let's have a go. So first step, briefly press the pair button. Okay, that looks like it should be pairing. Removing the old hub just leaves the new one. Okay, so now I've paired with the hub. It uh, sees the Eddie and the Zappy and it's got a green on them. So next, I think, go to the app and uh, put the new hub on it. On the app, I went to the settings page. I clicked forget this location to forget the last hub so I could enter a new one. With the old hub gone, it's time to add a new one. So I clicked add a new location. It asks, do you have a hub? So I clicked yes. It then asks for the hub serial number and hub registration code, which is like a password for the hub serial number. And that registration code can be found on the information second page. And I found it on my Zappy, which is the master in my configuration. And lastly, back in settings, I changed the location name to something personal for me. Okay, and there we go. So um, that literally um, is the first take. Uh, I didn't have to go back and do anything a second time other than what you've seen in the video. So um, it does all work. Works quite easily. <laughs> if you can find the instructions to start with. And yeah, okay, the registration code, um, which is actually like a password for the hub um, and finding that on your master unit, the Zappy for me, that, that that didn't appear to be straightforward, but it actually wasn't really complicated. You just had to follow um, instructions and trust that it all worked. So yeah, very, very happy. That literally took 10, 15 minutes, including filming it, wasn't very difficult at all. So if you're upgrading your hub from a hub one to a hub two, I hope this video helps. See you again for more videos. Bye for now.